Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and basically I've been getting a couple requests lately to see an updated video of my everyday carry bag so I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys what I've been carrying lately. Now this is a Maxpedition Pygmy Falcon 2 backpack. Now the reason I chose this one is because it's uh, it's got a small form factor but it's got a lot of pockets but it also has two external water bottle pockets. Now that does come in handy because I feel that it kind of balances the bag out and I'm able to carry a little bit more on the outside as opposed to trying to cram everything on the inside. So this bag basically goes with me everywhere. Now, I don't always carry it on my person. Sometimes I do leave it in my vehicle. So I do have certain things in my vehicle already that if I need to take a smaller um, EDC kit with me, I'm able to do so, you know, throw it in a cargo pocket or something like that, and I don't have to take the whole bag. But for the most part, you know, it does have certain things that I do use on a daily basis. Now, Again, these are the things that I carry based on my needs. Might not be what you particularly require to carry. So for the most part, you know, just take it as is. Now, the first thing that you'll notice about the bag is um, what I did is I removed the Y compression strap that it brings. Now, for me, I I don't really need that, and I and I figured that it's um it's a one it's an extra step. You know, I have to unbuckle that to be able to get to a lot of the pouches and a lot of the the compartments and things like that. So I went ahead and removed that. What I did do is um, I added this uh, kind of a, uh, like an admit pocket. You could, you could say it's got a Velcro loop field in the front. That's one of the things that this bag was missing. There's no Velcro loop field on the bag itself. And, you know, like a lot of guys here on YouTube, I do like to add some of my patches and stuff like that. So I've got my YouTube name on there and a couple other patches and whatnot. What I also added is um, I added this keychain. This is, is uh, basically what it does is it has a small carabiner on the, on the end of it and it's my blood type on there you know just in case uh, I ever get into an accident somebody needs to know that but it also allows me to hang stuff from the bag if I needed to you know maybe I don't want to put it on the inside I can go ahead and hang it on the outside now the other cool thing about this bag is it does have this bungee uh, cord down here and what it does is it allow you allows you to put stuff in there uh, so maybe bigger stuff that you want to carry on the outside maybe a jacket an extra shirt or something like that you can always put that on the outside there now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go through the different pockets in the bag and what I'm carrying and stuff like that. You know, maybe uh, you guys will have some questions and stuff like that, and hopefully they'll all be answered for you. So first and foremost, the uh, the little admin pouch here, it's got a zipper on the top. It's uh, pretty slim, so basically what I have in there is just a business card case. It's readily accessible if I need to grab a business card out. It's right on the outside. I'm able to take it out, hand it out, and put it right back in there. It doesn't create any bulk or anything like that, so that's pretty cool. Now on the sides, uh, you do have some uh, Molly attachment points. Same thing in the front. That's how I attach the uh, the admin pocket. So that's really cool. You know, it gives you extra uh, room to put some extra um, pockets and pouches and stuff like that. I don't have any on this side. What I do have is an S beaner here. Uh, obviously, in case I need to, you know, attach anything else to carry it on the outside, just like the the one on the front, I'm able to do so. In the water bottle pocket here, obviously I have a one of these big water bottles. And then deep down in the pocket there, I just have a bandana in case I need it for anything. So that goes right in there. And it cinches up and it's out of the way. On the other side, I have uh, put in a, an extra pocket here. Basically, this is just a, you know, a little pocket that came off one of my Oakley backpacks. And it fit really nice on there, so I went ahead and put it on there. And what's inside is uh, just got a spare flashlight. This is uh, one of the flashlights from Lightyear. And I have... Uh, some saber pepper spray uh, in case you know I come across a dog or I want to use a less than lethal option you know that's always uh, available there for me close that back up and then in the other water bottle pocket I just have an Oakley water bottle and I have uh, one of these uh, zone uh, zone perfect nutritional bars you know in case you skip a meal or anything like that uh, you're good to go so put that back in there. On the opposite side where the straps are, you do have other attachment points in case you wanted to put something, some, some rings right here, in case you wanted to hang stuff from there. I just have this uh, little county com uh, compass that kind of slides and attaches on there. That's pretty much all I need on there. All right. Now to the front. The first pocket right here, you go in there. First thing in there is uh, this little tool. It's, uh, it's called Square Up. Basically what it is is uh, you just connect it to your phone and it allows you to swipe credit cards in case you're uh, 
um, selling stuff and people need to pay you with a credit card. Really cool, you can get it for free from their website and you just set it up with a credit card or anything like that and you get the money there. So definitely if you guys haven't checked it out, go ahead and do so. Um, I have a spare camera here, you know, obviously doing YouTube videos and taking pictures and videos of the kids. Uh, you know, I always want to have an extra one in case something were to happen to my iPhone, which is what I use to record my videos and take pictures. And then I have the Volta battery pack from Maxpedition. Basically, it just has double A's and triple A's in there, you know, in case I run out of batteries on my flashlights or anything like that. And then I have a uh, Leatherman Wave multi-tool, obviously for whatever you would need a multi-tool for. So those ride pretty nicely in there. Now, I don't like to pack the bag out too much, especially in the different pockets, because I want to be able to have room in case I do need to put some more stuff in there. So, you know, I've always been a big uh, proponent of that, you know, just don't carry, don't load the bag up so much with stuff that you're really not going to need, because you're always going to need room to put stuff that you pick up along the way, so. In the second pocket here, in the bottom of the pocket right there, I have the, uh, this is a Maxpedition notebook cover. I've done a video on this, so if you guys want to check it out, go ahead and do so. And it just has some odds and ends, pens, screwdrivers, WD-40, a USB flash drive, uh, you know, a, uh, a, ch a sharpener. So, you know, any anything that you might need, it's, it's accessible there. You just pull this out and you're good to go. I also have a, uh, a fixed blade knife. This is the triple threat from Brass Blades. You know, obviously it's always good to have a fixed blade in case you need it. Uh, you need something a little sturdier than a folder. So I have that in there. And then just a couple other things. I have this uh, tube vault, and what it has is these towel pills. You wet them, and it turns into a kind of like a uh, a little cloth. So if you need to wipe stuff down, it's pretty good. And then I have a spare uh, folder. This is the uh, Utilitec two, so good little folder there to have. And then just some other odds and ends in there, some hand sanitizer and some pens. And then in the back right here, I just have some antibacterial wipes and. A spare flashlight. Now this is a little bit bigger, so a lot more lumen. So this is obviously, if you're gonna need something more than just your uh, your everyday carry flashlight or the uh, the little life gear spare one that I have on the outside, you know, I'll go to that one. So basically redundancy, you know, when it comes to that. So that's what runs in that one. And then onto the, uh, the big pocket, the main compartment. Now the good thing about this this bag is that the compartment zips almost all the way down. So this bag actually opens up pretty nicely. Uh, it lays pretty flat and stuff like that. So you know you can access a lot of the, uh, the items that you have in there. So for the most part, these items pretty much stay the same now um, and throughout the bag. The items in here, I do, um, you know, depending on what I'm doing, I end up taking them out or putting other stuff in there. So it just depends on, on you know, what I'm doing for the day. So first thing is first aid kit. You know, obviously it's always good to have in an EDC bag. Um, this is my uh, solar power charger. So in case the battery on my iPhone dies or on my iPad, you know, I'm able to charge it without needing an actual uh, outlet to do so. So that's always, that always comes in handy. And I do have a review on that too if you want to check it out. Now in this, uh, this is a Hazard 4 launch pad uh, case. Basically it is my iPad in there. It's really padded so it's nice. You know, I don't have to worry when I stick it in there if I have other stuff in there or throw the bag in the, down on the ground or whatnot, you know, that it's going to damage the iPad. So that, that rides in there. And then just in, in the bag itself, I just have a, you know, a spare t-shirt. It's really hot down here in South Florida so, you know, you might sweat through your shirt so it's always good to have a second one. Uh, some mechanics gloves. You know, you never know where you're going to need something like that. Maybe you bust a tire and you have to change it. You know, a spare tire, you don't want to have to, you know, get your hands dirty or whatnot. You can throw them on. And then I have uh, just uh, some paracord. This is 100 feet of paracord. So, you know, obviously paracord has 101 uses, so that always comes in handy. And then in the uh, this pocket right here, basically this pocket ends up getting the majority of stuff that I just picked up randomly. So right now... In the front, I just have uh, you know some some spare pirate cord. I was doing something with it, and you know just ended up putting it in there. And then in the zipper pocket right behind it, there's a couple things. There's these uh, comfort clean floss picks. So obviously, you know after you eat a meal, you need to get something out of your tooth or whatnot. Those come in handy. And then two more things. This is the uh, light my fire spork. You know if you don't have a spoon or a fork and you need to eat something, you know that comes in handy. And then just a cheap. Uh, tactical light, chem light glow stick, you know, that rides in the back there. So as you see, uh, not a lot of stuff in the main compartment. Uh, I want to keep it, you know, as 
less cluttered as possible. That way, if I do need to add some stuff to it, you know, I have the room to do so, and I don't have to worry about taking some other stuff that I might need out of there. So, that is my EDC bag, the Maxpedition Falcon 2, or Falcon Pygmy 2, sorry about that. And uh, it's a great bag, so if you're looking for something, you know, that's going to ride maybe in a back seat, uh, it's going to be a, a thinner form factor on your back and stuff like that, this is a really good bag to do so. So, uh, that's pretty much what I carry. Let me know what you guys think, and let me know if you guys have any questions, all right? Thanks.